Something that we use every day and probably think very little about is our web browser, that little icon that connects us to the rest of the internet. Now, if any of you have a Mac, you probably think very little about using Safari. Or if you're like me, you probably just download Chrome out of habit. But as a Mac user, I recently had some problems with Safari and it got me thinking, maybe there is something that could boost my efficiency, productivity, and workflow. So today I'm going to tell you why I switched from Safari to Chrome and why you probably should too. Now, just for some context, I actually used Chrome a lot just because it was the thing that my school was using and I didn't really think that switching to another browser would really change my life. That being said, I actually made the jump from Safari to Chrome because Chrome was taking up a lot of space and I thought Safari would be more optimized. I only tell you that so that you know that I've used both extensively and this is why I've switched back. Number one you probably guessed is extensions and really there is no comparison. An extension is just extra features and customizations that you can add onto your web browser of choice. And when it comes to Chrome versus Safari, Chrome just has so many more extensions compared to Safari. In addition, Chrome makes it way easier to add extensions onto your browser and encourages customizing it to make it better suit you, making your life way easier. Adding an extension is just as simple as visiting their web store and with whatever customization you want to add, just clicking on it. Easy and fast, just the way it should be. Safari on the other hand makes choosing their limited selection such a pain to add. Though customizations is not really something that Apple is known for, adding extensions which provide so much value should at least be something that is easy to do. First, you have to go to their web extension store page, which is fine. Then you get to browse all three of their extensions. Yeah, you don't really have a lot of selection here. Then after downloading it, you go back onto Safari and the extension that you just downloaded won't even be on Safari. So you have to go back into the Safari tab and not click on extensions where you'd expect, but you have to actually go under preferences and then extensions to activate it. Basically, Chrome makes it one simple step to add such a crucial part of the browsing experience and Safari, even though it limits you in the amount that you have, makes it such a pain to do so. Also, if you'd like to see more in depth of some of the extensions that I have, then let me know in the comments because honestly, I wish that I knew some of these way earlier. Number two is going to be bugs, updates, and video playback. While you may be thinking that this is just something minor and isn't really a deal breaker, this is actually what made me switch in the first place. Firstly, when it comes to sorting out bugs and getting updates, Chrome is constantly being updated with new changes to enhance the use. With Safari, updates is actually limited to only a couple times per year. That means that if you find something that's not working, like for me it was YouTube, you're just gonna be stuck with it. And speaking of YouTube, Chrome actually allows you to tap into those higher resolutions like 4K, while Safari actually caps you at 1080p. Number three is that it's better suited for a variety of devices. If you ever think of switching machines in the future, then going from Safari to that other machine is just gonna be so much more cumbersome than going from Chrome to another browser because it will probably be able to run Chrome. Chrome is found on so many other devices while Safari is just limited to Apple only. For me as a student, this also means that integration with Google software like Classroom or Slides is just so much more fluent than Safari. For example, if I wanted to switch from my school account for Google Classroom and open a new tab to check on the channel, unlike Safari, it will not switch everything to my school account, which saves a lot of time when added up every day. With Safari, there's a lot of annoying back and forth that you have to do that you just don't have to deal with in Chrome. And number four is gonna be that you can customize your browser more intuitively and more personally. For me, it's just easier to edit simple things on Chrome like the favorites bar and the actual look of the browser itself via extensions. Things like this is what makes the browser seem more personal to you and is where you can really let your creativity go. And yeah, I know it's a browser, but at least having the options is better than having nothing at all. Now, before you rethink your browser decisions, it's important to know that Chrome is not perfect either. For starters, like I said before, Chrome just takes up so much more space that you cannot get around. Chrome also uses up a lot more battery than Safari, and while it may not be a lot, it does add up over time. And lastly, Chrome is technically slower. I mean, if you're on a Mac, then Safari is just made by Apple for the Apple machine. However, these issues have such little effect that to me, it just doesn't make sense to reconsider. So that's why I have switched and I'll be sure to update you guys if anything changes in the future. But for me, Chrome just provides so much more pleasurable and productive value that Safari cannot. And just like Google Chrome could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt and thanks for watching.